hello and welcome. This is the JavaScript TypeScript web automation course. My name is Ilarion and today we're gonna talk about project structure. To be more specific, we're gonna talk about what is not modules, package JSON, package log, and PM and PX, what is Semver and dependencies. So I've been watching different tutorials like on JavaScript, on web automation, and all those tutorials, they kind of run through these files, sorry, run through these files and just say, okay, this is package JSON, we just save some dependencies there. Okay, this is node modules, we install our dependencies in node modules. Okay, we use these comments for blah, blah, blah. But, you know, for me, I, yeah, I think they either don't fully understand what's going on with all this stuff, so how, how this works, or they just assume that the beginners like you would understand this right away, like on the fly. Okay, you say what is not modules, they understand. So today we're gonna step by step move through these files and I will show you by examples how all this is connected together. So let, let's see how this goes, but yeah, I think after this video you'll get a good understanding of what all these are. And in the end, like a bonus, we'll review how NP npm init playwright command works. Okay, so I'm happy to say that today we are on sixth video. We'll talk about project structure. Actually, we already know how to run tests, so I can check this one. Um, all right, jumping right into it. Package JSON. What is package JSON? It's a file that contains project info, then scripts for running your tests or something, and dependencies. Okay, so project info, scripts, and dependencies. What are dependencies? Dependencies are external modules. Code written not by you, not by you, but by somebody else. So let's say we are using Playwright. Playwright is written by engineers from Microsoft. They published Playwright, the code for Playwright, somewhere in the cloud. And we want to get that code. And to get that code, we specify dependencies in our package JSON. So dependency is some external code, something from other developers, which we want to use in our project. So as example, as I said, Playwright wrote the code, Playwright team wrote the code, published it uh, somewhere in the cloud, and we specify that we want to use Playwright in our project, and we put this into dependencies. Let's take a look. Let's navigate to the Playwright demo, to the VS code, and here we have the files. We have this package JSON. Okay, so what do we have here? First, we have some basic project information. Name of the project, version of the project, like some description. Main is just some file. Basically, we don't need it right now. Then some keywords. While it's empty, then, yeah, we also don't need that. Hilarion Halushka, the author of this project <clears throat> and the license. Okay. So, a basic description of the project. The first one here. <clears throat> then we have some scripts. What are the scripts? Remember, we have some comments for running tests, like npm, playwright, npx, playwright, uh, test. So, we want to write all tests. I mean, to run all tests. For that, we can yeah, write the following. npx playwright test. 
So this is our script. Let's uh, run. Let's add something else. Test debug. Debug logs. Let's call it this way. Debug equals all logs. And let's also debug file. Set the de debug file here. Logs txt. So this will run the tests and um, in debug mode like um, for for the logs to see all the logs and then it will have it will put all the logs into this file logs.txt okay so now that we have these scripts you might be wondering okay how do i run this and in order to run them you can do the following npm run test Okay, and that worked. So npm run test. It took the script from package.json scripts test and ran this command. Yep, all tests passed. Now let's try to run this one. Test debug logs. npm run test debug logs. And what do we see? We should see a lot of logs here. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Debug. Okay, if this doesn't work, I know what to do. Or let's see what do we have. Okay, create an order fail. This is fine. Okay, we have the tests. Let's see whether we have this logs.txt file now. Logs.txt. Yep, and it contains all the logs. Okay, this is great. So this worked. Okay, so now we have two scripts here. What else do we want to add? Let's add test UI. Test UI like this. And let's run it. npm run test UI. So we are calling our scripts um, like in the way we want them to be named. Boom. Okay, I just ran the test and it's UI mode here. Boom. Cool. Okay, getting back here. So, okay, basic project information, that's clear. Let's actually put these two above. Then scripts, we can run scripts with npm run then we have dependencies then we have dependencies and dependencies are the external co code external modules that somebody else wrote for us so we are specifying here that we want to use a dependency called play playwright test and this is the version for this uh, dependency and we also have dependency types node. This is for Node.js, for Node.js types. So we have some beautiful auto completion in our tests. Okay. Now let's slowly, slowly, one by one. one. Okay, so this is package.json. Moving on. What's npm? npm is the command that we just used npm kind of uh, helps us manage the project project dependencies scripts like install dependencies remove dependencies run these scripts so let's try to do something here 
Yeah. So this is the short explanation of what NPM is. In NPM is CLI program for managing JavaScript dependencies and projects. No, not projects. Okay, let's name it de just dependencies. Let's leave it as is. Okay, so let's say we want to install. Yeah, let's install Prettier. Let's install Prettier package. NPM install Prettier. And what do we see here? Yep, we see that there is one more dependency added. Prettier. I will explain a bit later what, what's the difference between dev dependencies and dependencies. All right, so we just installed Prettier package. Prettier, Prettier package, which npm prettier we can go to npm prettier and this is the kind of web page for this code formatter prettier so everything is on npm and we just run, ran the command npm install prettier so it took prettier from npm registry from this kind of cloud just imagine that it fetched the package from the cloud and here we have some GitHub to the prettier. I'm gonna start it. Yeah. So we just installed some third party code, some code that somebody else wrote. Okay, and now let's uninstall prettier. Boom, uninstalling. And that's it. We just uninstalled prettier again. Now let's do the following. Okay, I think this is clear. So th this is enough for now for NPM. So we can install packages, reinstall packages. This is for now enough. Now node modules. Node modules is the directory where dependencies are stored. What this means? Let's say we have dependencies like playwright test and types node. So these are dependencies to our project. And external code you remember right and here let's see the node modules folder and in node modules we have playwright test which is this one playwright test and then we have types node types node so this is the code of this is the code of playwright test library and this is the code for node.js types okay and both are in node modules folder so let's do the following i will remove node modules I just removed the folder. We won't see it anymore. So you see, we don't have the folder. Node modules. And now let's do npm install. npm install is just for, come on. npm install is the command for installing all the dependencies that you have in your package JSON. So everything you have here is gonna install. Let's quickly do it. Okay, npm install. Let's check what we have. And yeah, now we have node modules folder. Previously I deleted it. Let's see what we have inside node modules. Node modules. Yeah, inside of node modules we have playwright slash test. Yeah, if we go to node modules playwright, yeah, inside of playwright test. So this is this dependency. And types, we have types node. Let's let's try to install npm prettier again. Let's check what we have in node modules. Now in node modules we have the prettier because we just installed it. And now let's 
one uninstall prettier okay and now let's see what we have we don't have prettier anymore in the node modules so node modules stores the external external code from from the cloud the dependencies all right i hope that was clear right so we have package json which contains the information about the dependencies we have cli command to install uninstall dependencies so add them to the package json remove them from package json like we have the command npm install just npm install to install all the dependencies into node modules so this creates node modules folder if it's not there and just downloads all the all the packages all the dependencies into node modules okay i hope this was clear so far so one two three node modules package json and npm all right now we have npx npx we also used npx before like npx playwright we already have it here npx playwright test so npm stands for node package manager and npx stands for node package executor let me write it here not package executor so what it does npx runs binaries from node modules yeah i think this explanation should be enough for now from node modules um, or yeah let's not make it complicated for now i think this should be enough so we have this comment npm playwright test npm playwright playwright test so what this one does let's run yeah let's run the test so yeah tests are running i'm gonna cancel that so npx playwright test so npx takes the binary runs binaries cli programs from node modules okay so let's go to node modules don't be scared then we have bin folder here so some of the dependencies might put something into bin folder and here we have the playwright remember we have we have this command npx playwright so npx npx actually npx takes goes to node modules goes to bin dot bin folder and searches for playwright so it finds playwright all right what do we have in playwright playwright says go to playwright cli cli command line interface like the program in the con in the terminal all right and if we navigate inside then and here search for test command test yeah so this is the handler for test command let's back get back to package json let's go slowly again so npx goes to node modules dot bin folder searches for what's passed here playwright finds this playwright file and then passes test inside of this file what's going on here and here is just some javascript we're going inside then inside i'm just doing control and click on the dependencies and here i will search for test like this yeah so this is the handler for this test command so there is common description run test with play write test what else do we have in cli we also have let's add some common like um, test show report npx playwright show report 
okay so what this one does npx goes to node modules dot bin playwright finds playwright then it passes show report so this show report goes here to this file then it it goes inside here requires another file then goes to this file and here let's find the handler for this command and here is the handler so there is some logic how to handle this command so you type it just uh, in your terminal and there is some magical code which handles this command and the description for this command is show html report and you can also provide host port you see there's this is a real code this is not documentation so we are reading playwright code can you imagine beautiful actually code is pretty well structured and yeah it's beautiful i just i enjoy like uh, looking at playwright code all right again npx playwright goes to that folder finds this binary runs passes this inside of there and the arguments to like this ui or whatever this all is passed to that uh, cli program okay this was npx i hope we didn't make it too hard right now so i'm mov moving slowly 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 and i'm showing you what's going on okay now tip of the day I already mentioned this before don't code blindly if you see some code you have to understand it i mean if you write tests you have to understand what you write if you see some files in your project like package json not modules folder like git ignore file you have to understand what all these mean because otherwise you would feel like you're doing some black magic and you're just like like a child in some store like going from one thing to another trying to fix things but they don't work you don't understand why and yeah not, not the best experience so to be a good engineer you have to understand your tools yeah understand your tools short break for the meme not sure if I am good. I'm a good. Sorry, this is fourth video I'm recording today. So not sure if I'm a good programming or what? Not sure if I am a good programming or good at Googling. Oh, sorry, there is a mistake here. So th that's why I wasn't there. <laughs> not sure if I am good at programming or good at Googling this is how it should be yeah so this is kind of interesting topic not sure <laughs> so let's say you want to write playwright tests and you just go through the documentation you go to chat gpt you go to google and you try to understand what all these mean like not modules packages on scripts dev dependencies uh like wh what is git ignore what is uh, package log playwright config i can't imagine how much time it would take you to figure out what is dev dependencies how these scripts are run what is npx playwright test that it goes to this folder that npm install installs and installs the dependencies here so it would be really hard so you cannot just go to Google and ask something and understand something without knowing the whole picture. So let's say you don't know what is package JSON. If you don't know what is package JSON and what's inside of package JSON, you cannot understand what is not modules, what is npm install, what is npm uninstall. If you don't know what is npm install uninstall, you like yeah so all this goes together and you cannot just google this in a moment you can google some detail if you understand the overall picture of, of what these files me mean what they are for in your project 
then you can Google some specific details about these files. Otherwise, as I said, this is a black magic. Playing with the black magic, not the best experience. So I know that most of the beginners, they want to write tests and they just blindly type some comments into terminal. I've been there. I'm really, yeah, disappointed that nobody explained such simple basic things to me when I started coding in JavaScript, writing some automation tests. So it was, it was a nightmare. So I felt like every, everyone else is better than me. I don't understand things. And I just had to learn like what I just explained to you in 10, five minutes. Yep. So be both, be good at Googling and be good at programming. Know your tools again. All right, moving on after a short pause. Dependencies versus dev dependencies. Okay, we also, we all, sorry. We already saw these dependencies here. Playwright test types node. And you remember when I installed npm install prettier, it put it under dependencies. So what's the difference between, no, I don't like this one. Let's uninstall prettier and let's install Postgres library. Okay, PG. All right, so what do we have here? Dev dependencies and dependencies. What's the difference? I put it on this slide actually. So dependencies, everything what goes to dependencies is required for production code. Like if you have some front end or back end code that users see like for the code for your application, then those should go into de dependencies dependencies for a project if you need some tools like uh, playwright which your application doesn't require so your end users like don't care about the tests that run some somewhere and your application your website doesn't care about playwright so playwright is just for development for development for testing and this is what dev stands for dev means dev dependencies let me put it here dev dependencies are required for development and testing so not for your application code not for your website code or for your backend code all right so ex as example here i add a dependency postgres Postgres uh, is like library which helps you connect with the Postgres database and write the queries. So such library would be required by your production code. Playwright or some types for autocomplete in your editor are not required. Okay. So dependencies for production code, dev dependencies for development, testing. All right, and here I put the reminder for myself to show you how to install dependencies into dev dependencies. So I just installed npm install pg postgres. And now I want to add prettier to my project or some Yes, lint npm install yes lint d d stands for dev dependencies. All right, let's do it. Dev dependencies. Boom, done. Three node modules, and now in node modules we have. Wow, there are so many things we have now. 
what was that yes lint installed all this yeah i'm sure this was yes lint okay i don't like yes lint anymore <laughs> uninstall yeah yes lint is just some linter for your code not modules okay this work yeah postgres also installed a lot of things okay let's quickly install npm install prettier d stands for development and node modules now have prettier right and we have it here added then dependencies all right right let me remove postgres because we actually don't need it and i will remove the prettier because we also don't need it if you remember we already configured prettier in vs code so if you don't then that means do, that you weren't watching the previous videos carefully and yeah you might have to rewatch sorry okay now dependencies you see here we have some versions some versions like um, i think it might be clear for you like this is the minor work this is like the least important version like this is the minor version and this is major version so what these mean let's get to the slide so first of all like the last number is patch what patch stands for patch is some bug fix bug fix small change some small change to the code bug fix or small change i would also add non non breaking small change so whatever sorry so let's go to the what do we have here playwright test npm playwright test let's go to the npm registry with all the packages now let's go to the versions and now we see that the latest version is let's check how oh, they have so many versions okay the latest stable version is this one 139 oh and this is basically what we have so if playwright team does some small fix to this version and they want to release it to the public they will update this number to one so this is for bug fixes or small changes then if they have more fixes or changes they will just increment this to whatever number they want 10 11 12 whatever okay but now the uh, latest version stable version is this one okay then next number in the middle is for changing the minor version this is the number this one changing the minor version okay and yeah let's let me put like here 39 no actually like this okay so minor version is changing the second number minor is usually referred to new non breaking let's say playwright team adds some non-breaking feature like they add some additional i don't know login or some additional locators or some additional actions for executing them on the screen then they would increment this value so here they would set 40 and like if they had here 11 they would reset it to zero again so next version 30, 40 
and now and now we have the major yeah so the major is breaking changes so major major version which is the first number is for the breaking changes so let's say playwright team introduces some breaking change which breaks uh, all the tests for everyone or like some of the tests for people who are using playwright so in that case they would have to increment the major version 200 then when they do the fixes they increment this one two three four they when they do some features they increment this some non-breaking features and then when they do breaking uh, changes they increment this like this and let's say i said we had here 39 okay let's say i said this tilde symbol here this means that my project that i want to install any version of playwright test dependency any version here like uh, i don't care about the minor version so any minor version this means any minor version let me actually put this on a separate slide so this one any sorry patch version i'm always confusing then this caret any minor and this one any merger version actually this one if we put it just uh, like this this would be any version so any version okay getting back so this one says install playwright version 139 and minor sorry patch version i don't care which one like the latest one take the latest one if i set this symbol tilde then it means that it doesn't care like uh, what's here so for minor version and for patch version it will just take the latest take the latest here but th this this is uh, like adding some kind of we are safe when we add this symbol we are safe that nothing will break most likely of course if playwright uh, team doesn't introduce any breaking changes in these versions and doesn't upgrade to the next major version then we are fine yeah all right so yeah i hope that was clear so this one says install any minor and patch version like the latest one okay and then if we put just asterisk here then it would install any version like the latest one the latest version they have okay now let's get back and also all this is called semver semantic versioning so this is semantic version just remember that there is more to that but for now just remember that semantic versioning is patch minor major one two three one two three all right moving on patch any version now package lock we are pretty close to the end so stay with me I can give you a clap to wake up boom package lock let's see where's this file package lock okay some people might confuse it with did I write package lock <laughs> package lock JSON so what it does it stores the exact versions of dependencies installed what this means 
let's review the package JSON first. What do we have here? Yeah, by the way, package JSON is auto generated, so yeah, there is a lot here. So first, it copies the project description from package JSON log file version version of package log JSON file. Okay, and now we have the packages. Now we have the packages and first package is kind of our package JSON. Remember this dev dependencies. These are dev dependencies from our package JSON. Then we have not modules playwright test. This is the package JSON of this library. So we requested to install this dependency and this dependency has its own package json file which is here then we also installed types node and types node dependency has its own package json okay and we see the exact versions of these libraries installed. Let's quickly. One, two, three. Yeah. So here it says resolved. Like this is the version it found on the registry. Registry and pm.org playwright test. And this is the version 139. Let's actually go to this website. Can I navigate there? Yeah. I just downloaded this uh, package JSON. Sorry, package JSON <laughs> playwright test dependency. So I went to this website and it downloads this file, this archive. Okay. So I'm moving slowly. So yeah, if you don't understand it yet, I'll explain again. So package log contains our package JSON. Then we have dependency playwright test and playwright test dependency has its own package json this is information from its package json then it also has by the way this is like playwright cli bin you remember bin folder and playwright command like npx playwright yeah this is configured here and here it says which exact version in it installed so let's say let's go with the example 38 let's say we want to install this version so playwright and remember so this symbol means that we should go with any any version which is or let's go this way this tilde symbol means that the like the patch version can be the latest one okay and here let's say let's kind of downgrade this one and here say the same so th this one can be zero but if there is version higher than that then it should install the higher version Yeah, I'm trying to open terminal now. <laughs> okay. So playwright test. Let's remove package package log JSON. Removing package log JSON and doing npm install. npm install. Okay, so it installed the dependencies and generated the package log. Let's check package log. Again, this is uh, info for from our package log, and then we have playwright test. In our package log, we said version one point thirty eight, and then any like the high the latest patch version, and let's see what it installed. So. It installed the version 1.38.1. 1. 
So this is what package log contains. And let's check types node. Let's scroll down a little bit. Types node installed 20.8.10. 20.8, this is what we expected. And 10, this is the latest version. This is what we specified here. Okay, I hope this is clear so far. And now let me explain why do we need this package JSON. So we just installed uh, the dependencies and we have this package log. Now we will, like, what can we do? We can remove the node modules. RM rf node modules folder, the folder where all the dependencies are installed. And we can actually, we do the installation and it will install exactly these versions which we have in package JSON. Imagine the following. Let's go to some Excalibur. Let's imagine the following. So this is NPM, NPM registry, NPM. NPM, uh, NPM registry. This is the cloud with all the packages for JavaScript, for Node. This is NPM registry. It has these packages. Playwright test, I don't know, let's types node, etc. So, and each of these have different versions. Let me put it here, 139, 138. Boom. And let's say this one also has some versions. I don't know. 19. Boom. Okay, now we have our project. Our project is in green because we are working with Playwright. Okay, we have package package JSON and we have package log. Package log JSON. We do the npm install. So what npm install does? npm install checks the pack the dependencies here dependencies or dev dependencies okay i hope this is clear so first let's put this one aside npm install checks package json dependencies dev dependencies then npm install checks package lock to know which versions, which exact version. Let's say here we have dependencies and we have playwright test this version, this version. Actually, let me do it this way. With one library, it will be easier to explain. Okay, then we have package JSON where we have the same version. So package JSON says that this this is what we installed in node modules. This is the exact version. This is the desired version, like uh, with the minor that can change. And this one is the exact version which was installed, which is stored in package log JSON. Okay, so when we do npm install, we check for these two values. So npm install checks for 
package JSON. It sees that the version is this one. Then it checks package log JSON. It sees that package log has the version which matches this one. So these two love, love, they match each other. That means that npm install will fetch this version, exactly this version, which was already installed before. So again, npm install first goes to package.json dependencies, dev dependencies, checks this version, then checks the version for the same package in package log JSON. It sees that this version matches the one in package JSON, and this is love. They match. They match, and then npm install goes to npm registry and says, give me this version. Okay, so what happens when, what happens when, let's say, playwright team releases a new version and this new version matches our criteria here so matches this tilde like the pat patch version i'm always confusing patch and minors sorry okay so playwright team releases this version i do npm install again i don't know in one week so npm install again goes to package json checks the version of playwright test this is the version goes to package json checks the version here it sees that these two they match if they match love remember they match then npm install will go to the registry and download exactly this version the version that we have in package lock it will download exactly this version so it won't download this one even though this one this new version it matches what we have in package json so it will still download this one which was previously installed so why this happens and why is this required let's say we write some code we as the developers, we write some code locally and we have installed, we have, okay, let's go here. We have node modules, node modules folder in our project. This is our project. We have node modules folder, which contains this playwright test dependency. And the version is this one this one from package package lock right so package lock matches what's uh, really installed and let's say this is our local machine local so when we when we test when we test our code locally it has version this one when we will push our code so we are pushing the code push to git and we will run the command to deploy like uh, ci server server cloud so this is some CI server cloud. So we are pushing our code and then some CI server cloud, wherever you call it, it will do the same. It will uh, like do git pull to pull the latest uh, changes that you pushed, right? It will do git pull then what it will do it will do npm install it will do npm install and again this npm install will first okay let's say in the pm it does npm install and in package json we have this 
in package JSON we have this so it's it checks for package JSON and it checks the dependencies and here we have this tilde tilde meaning the patch version can should be the latest so that means that npm install would go to the registry let's copy over this registry quickly it will would go to the registry and yeah just let's let's do it this way npm install npm install okay like this this is the npm install so npm install goes to the registry and based on this it would download so npm install checks the version like it knows that this one can be the latest one npm and it says give me the latest version and the latest version is this one already so this would download the version this with the update and let's say that playwright team does some small tiny mistake so they think that it's not a breaking change when they change the semantic version in but actually this is a breaking change they introduced some bug they let's say they fixed some bug and this introduced another bug and this would cause our tests and then we do like okay this is it will it will install it installed and then we do npm run test which under the hood does the what which under the hood does the npx play right but th that's not the point play right test and here our tests fail tests fail do you know why they fail so look okay here let's say we would install this npm install and then tests pass npm install package log json boom and here on on the cloud tests fail because we do npm install and npm install fetches the latest version and then let's say this uh, th there is some bug in this code and our tests fail and do you know how hard it is to find out why tests fail on CI and they work locally so imagine you run tests locally they work just perfectly you run tests on another machine they work perfectly you run tests on CI and they start to fail and they start to fail just because somebody some third-party library which you put into your package JSON they made a small change small fix which did uh, something with their library and their library uh, fails the test execution but this happens only on ci just because you um, downloaded this latest version so this is when package logs package log json comes into play okay let's remove this one for a sec so it doesn't go there yet so first it goes to package lock so this is again this is our server cloud ci wherever so it does git pull latest changes that you pushed from your local it does npm install npm install first goes to package json checks this version then it goes to package lock json checks checks if the version matches okay the versions match 
this is love you remember and then and payment install installs exactly this version from package log json exactly this one it goes to the registry and takes this version not this one but this one that we have in package log no matter what we have here all right let's say I'm not sure if I still made it clear, but yeah, I'm just telling you that package log JSON it guarantees that the versions which we installed locally, like the versions here, installed versions from package log JSON, the version that we installed here, it will be the same version that we will install anywhere else because package j package log json controls this all right if you still didn't understand it go through this excalibur draw again just push back the video a little bit and watch this again so yeah in this case it would install installed the version installed the exact version we have in package log dot json okay so it installs the exact version that we had on the local machine and then we run the tests tests pass boom beautiful here actually they passed too <laughs> this is our local machine all right then push to git blah 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 okay yeah yeah i'm sorry i will go through this again so when you push code somewhere else you are sure that it will install in exactly the same versions as you have in your package log. So let's say now, okay, let, let's go again by example. Let's say now I have this version 138.0. And here is my package log. My package log, did I do in pm install? Okay, I already did. And in package log, I see that the version installed is this one so anywhere where my code will be run npm will know which exact version i used here on my local machine so it's here node modules playwright test playwright test package json so this is the version of the library i am using to write tests to execute tests locally and this same version will be run on ci in the cloud okay all right moving on Th that was i think the hardest part and now yeah i want to connect all the dots i want to connect all the dots and now let's go to the scala draw once again so if you remember on one of the first lectures we had like the installation process for the playwright and that was something like npm npm init playwright latest like not necessary here npm init playwright so this is another command of npm npm init let's go here let's try to actually understand what npm init playwright does okay i did some homework here so let's check here so what npm init playwright does first it creates updates the files so it asks us for some configurations we choose some configurations and then it creates these files it creates example tests here and here it creates package json package log playwright config then npm init does npm install 
So and npm install installs required packages plus downloads browsers. I'm not sure that the browsers. Yeah, I think they're also installed with npm install. Okay. So we run npm install and then npm install. This is the dialog. npm install goes to the package JSON. Hey, package JSON, tell me which packages to install. Package JSON replies, like, these are the dependencies. Playwright test, and here are the versions, and uh, remember the semantic versioning and these symbols in the beginning. Okay, then npm install goes to package JSON. Hey, package, sorry. <laughs> Hey, package log JSON. Tell me which package version versions to install. Package log JSON answers. Playwright test version one thirty nine oh. This is what we have in package JSON. This is the exact installed version we have in node modules. Then npm install says. Thanks guys, installing playwright test and types node packages into node modules folder. So then it actually downloads these packages and the versions are taken from the package log if they match. Okay, then yeah, tree is just a comment for viewing the tree of your project. Then we have such then we have such a structure of node modules so what's inside of node modules we have this playwright we have types and inside of them we have playwright test here would be slash test right and here types node slash here we would have types and node okay but besides that we also have some other libraries installed here but as you remember we don't have these dependencies in our original package json right so what happens what do we see okay installed the packages and i see that these packages have other dependencies let's check this in the code node modules we go to playwright playwright test this is the original dependency we have in our project package json and this playwright test dependency also has package json so they also have package json let's go here and in this package json guess what they also have dependencies here dependencies playwright okay so it installs playwright let's go to the playwright so the same, it's in non-modules. Now we have Playwright library with this version. And what do we have here? We have package JSON in Playwright. All right, and guess what we have in this package JSON? We also have some dependencies like Playwright core and some optional dependency FS events. All right, Playwright core. Let's go to Playwright Core. Guess what? Playwright Core, this dependency has package JSON. And inside of package JSON, okay, it seems like this one doesn't have any dependencies anymore. So, what actually happens? Our project JSON dependencies packages are Playwright Test and types node so we have only two dependencies one and two then playwright test has package json with dependencies and that contains playwright then npm install installs playwright into node modules and then when it installs playwright into node modules it looks at the package json of this dependency and there it has playwright core and fs events two more libraries and same goes for our types node dependency 
So types node has package JSON with dependencies. And inside of there, it has UNDC types or undici, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. So it builds kind of a tree of dependencies. So NPM builds a tree of dependencies and puts all them inside of node modules. Actually, if you remember, we previously installed the NPM install Postgres. Let's see how many dependencies Postgres and its children have and its dependencies have kind of. Yeah, so we installed Postgres and see how many more dependencies it kind of fetched with it. Yeah, so there are a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was a long video. This was maybe probably the hardest one of uh, like hardest one in this course so yeah may maybe you'll have to rewatch it if you didn't understand everything from from the first time this is fine if you haven't played with the same commands as I did this is not great so you won't learn anything if you don't play with these commands all right. Yep, happy to announce minus one project structure. Homework for today. Read about NPM and PX node modules. Just read one article on each of these and this would be enough. Package JSON, package log, TypeScript, uh, transpilation to JavaScript. Actually, we discussed this on the previous video then difference between dependencies and dev dependencies yeah we already covered this but still uh, then review every file just go ahead and review every single file we have in the project just go ahead and do it don't be scared like you're scared until you don't understand it when you understand it just like a little bit like I kind of understand it okay then it will be much easier for you to work with this project and the web playwright automation in general all right play with npm install uninstall uh, I don't know install install postgres just npm install dependencies versions try to change some versions try to delete package lock json try to delete node modules okay and basically just repeat everything what i did on this video this is it for today coming soon video number four, seven about locators and selectors. We already covered this in the previous one and the videos like XPath, CSS, like we did some recordings with the playwright recorder. Yeah, but in, in the next one, we're gonna do a deep dive into selectors and uh, playwright locators. Yeah, this will be fun again. As always reminding you Go ahead, learn some JavaScript. Here are the topics. Here's the website. I intentionally intentionally uh, removed some of the topics here. So learn only what you see on this screenshot. If you go to JavaScript info, it will have way more topics here covered. So I reduced the scope for you. Here 14, here 4, 11, and here only 2. All right. It was great having you watch my video and as always, see you in the next one. Hit like, subscribe, hit the star, finally hit that star and follow me somewhere, anywhere, everywhere. Just yeah, <laughs> see you in the next one. Thank you.